this is Landon from Design Visionaries and in this video I'd like to show you how to convert your drawing dimensions to PMI from drafting. In this model here I just created a simple block with some features in it, mainly just some holes, a uh, boss pattern with a counterboard, holes in them, and just a few blends around the edges. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, drafting and as you can see, I have some stuff already dimensioned. Uh, but if I wanted to do like, um, you know, add some more dimensions here, let's say I wanted just to put on a dimension here and I wanted to put on a dimension here like so. There we go. And basically what I want to do is I want to convert this to PMI. Um, if any of you use the uh, PMI to export model data to the manufacturers um, to show the dimensions without having to deal with the uh, drawings, it's just all in one package with the uh, part file, um, it's really handy. Uh, not all manufacturers have moved to it, but it is really nice when they do because you're not having to send a separate like step file and then a PDF drawing. You can just send one file and it has both, uh, which is really convenient. Um, so for this video, I'd like to show you how to take the drawing data. If you already have a drawing and you want to give them a one file that has PMI in it, uh, there's a really easy thing you can do in NX11. So if you go over to the, um, I think it's under drafting tools here, uh, you'll see convert to PMI. And what you do is you click Convert to PMI, and you have several options here. You can do the entire drawing. Uh, you can do just one of the sheets in the drawing. You can do a, just a single view in the, draw, in the drawing or just an annotation, uh, one annotation, like if I just wanted this dimension only. Um, for this video, I'm going to show you how to do the view. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the top view here. I want to show the dimensions in this top view, and then I'm also going to pick this ortho at 2 to show the other dimensions here. Um, but I'm primarily focused on the main uh, dimensions that have the uh, whole definitions and stuff in them. So I will hit OK, and basically what it happens is it translates those dimensions into the PMI interface in modeling. So if I go to modeling, uh, you're not going to see anything yet. So if you don't see your PMI tab up here, uh, make sure to go to Application and enable it right here. It's next to Sheet Metal under Assemblies. There's a little PMI button. So make sure you turn that on. And uh, then you'll have the uh, PMI tools available. Uh, so in order to see your PMI, you have to go... Uh, PMI is very view dependent on the model data. So you have to go over here to the model views and click on the model. So if you look at the view, you'll see all of the annotations have been stuffed into the top view. And there's another one here, ortho. It looks like it only carried over the uh, center lines. So I'm going to go over to top view. And as you can see, the uh, PMI data. Now you notice that some of these annotations are really, really tiny. So you can correct that just by hitting the resize PMI button here and that'll resize it for the view that you're looking at. As you can see, you have 3D uh, dimension data, PMI, right in the model view, which is really handy. So when you export this into a format that supports PMI and the manufacturer gets it, they no longer really need a drawing file. You can just send them this and it has the whole thing with it. Again, this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries, and for more cool tricks, tips, and videos like this, please check us out on the web at designvisionaries.com. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.